Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, we're going to train our Raspberry Pi for facial recognition with a webcam. Now, this can be accomplished in four easy steps. Step one, we're going to download a bunch of software, install a bunch of software onto our Raspberry Pi. Step two, we're going to take a bunch of photos of ourselves with the webcam. Step three, we're going to train the Raspberry Pi to recognize our face. And step four, we're going to test it out. You can use a Raspberry Pi 5 like me, or you can use a Raspberry Pi 4. I'm going to use my webcam. You can absolutely use a Pi camera instead. I will have a separate code for that. Personally, I prefer using the webcam because it's super easy to install in the Raspberry Pi. Just plug it in to one of the USB ports. This will start off with a fresh copy of the Raspberry Pi operating system. If you haven't already done that, I will link over to a different video. This will pick up right where that leaves off. So let's get started. Welcome. We are starting off with a fresh install of the Raspberry Pi operating system. We are going to open up our internet and get to my GitHub page here. I will link to this below for ease of use. And we also need our terminal and I've opened up a fresh terminal. And as you go through my GitHub page, you'll see all the files you'll need to download. The first thing we'll need to do is create a virtual environment. Now, when I first published this tutorial six years ago, it was not required to create a virtual environment. Now it is. And here we go. We're creating a virtual environment called FaceRec. And then to get into that virtual environment, we will use this command source. And now we are in our new virtual environment. And of course, we want to do a full upgrade, full update. Mine was already upgraded before I started recording. I did run out of memory, so I'm going to expand the memory. Do that by changing the swap file was a 512. And now I'm going to change it to 2048. And I'm going to hit Control X to exit the letter Y to save and then enter to update that swap file. And then I need to reboot or restart the system so that it will use the new swap file command into our environment. Now we need to start installing our required libraries. First, we'll start with OpenCV, installing OpenCV now. Next, we will install IMUTILS installing IMUTILS. Now we want to do a CMake. Now we want to install the library for face recognition. This step could take anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour. I will be back after this completes running. We have completed installing face recognition library. Let's change back our swap file. And I'm using the arrow keys, arrow down, and I'm going to change it back to 512, which was the original size. I'm going to hit Control X to exit, the Y key to save and enter to get out of this. And now we're going to restart the service. Let's get our files from the repository. We're going to do a get clone, enter. Now that we have completed copying all the files into our computer, uh, we've got facial recognition. So now let's uh, CD into facial recognition and I'll do an LS and I'll see what I have here. In order to upload a data set folder, GitHub would not let me upload a completely empty folder. So now we've got to remove, and you don't really have to do this. It's not gonna blow up if you don't, but what I'm gonna do is remove, there's a little folder called Z in there, uh, just as a placeholder. And we're gonna remove that Z folder. All right, excellent. So data set is still there. We are going to nano into our headshots capture file and set our name. So this is how the file knows who you're taking pictures of. So you set it right here. You don't have to have a folder already created. It will make a folder for you. So I'm going to make a folder called Caroline. It is case sensitive. I'm going to take some pictures of myself. So I renamed the person Caroline, control X, the Y key to save, enter. If you notice, I'm using webcam.py, that version. If you're using your PyCam, then you'd use the PyCam version instead. And I'm gonna Python 3 headshots underscore capture dash webcam py to run this file. I'm gonna start taking some headshots of ourselves. And here I am. Now we're gonna take some headshots. I press the space key to take 
photos. And I'm gonna move my head around a little bit. You know, kind of like when you do your phone, your facial rec on your phone, same thing. I would say take at least 10 photos, if not more, I've taken 25 photos here. I am going to hit the Q key to quit. Now to train the model, we're going to run the Python script model training.py. Python 3 model underscore training.py, enter. And it's just gonna take a few seconds, process all the images. And at the end of it, it says training is complete and you got a pickle file, encodings.pickle. That is the expected result if you've done everything correctly. So now we are going to test our model. How do we do that? We are going to run our face rec webcam script. And if you are using a Pi camera instead, you can uh, use the Pi camera version of this file. And I'm gonna hit enter and let's get this model going. Let's test our script. And here I am, so it recognized me immediately. But if I obscure my face, then it doesn't recognize me anymore. And there I am again. If I turn my head too far over, it won't recognize me. And uh, the other way as well. Let's see if it can recognize me versus a friend. Hold up her photo, and as you can see, she is unknown. This is my photo. It recognizes my photo. Me with a visor on. That's me with a visor on. Yet yeah, she came out as unknown because the model isn't trained for her. If you move it over to me, there, it knows it's me. Yeah, it does recognize photos of me. Oh, this is kind of cool. So if I kind of do like, like this, there's me and there's unknown. Yeah. The more photos you have, the better this will work. To quit this file, press the Q button and it should clean up everything. And there you have it facial recognition on a Raspberry Pi with a webcam. It worked, I'm super excited. Thank you Core Electronics for updating my code. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye now.